Hey dreamers, and welcome to Relive the Past. This is another horror game from Itch, where we play as a husband haunted by a dark past. I also want to say that this main menu is really, really cool looking. Let's jump in. Straight to it. Hey Greg. Hey. How's it going? Fine. Just dealing with family issues and all that. Yeah, but you were happy before all this. Remember how excited you were when you proposed to Saya? Uh, it was a strange feeling, like rolling the dice, hoping she'd say yes. Yeah, but she's been in love with you for a long time. It was bound to be a yes. I never understood the signals girls give when they're interested. But you're a happy family now, right? Sort of. It's not always sunshine and rainbows. Forget it. Tell me about your son. Dead. Who did it? His mother. Oh. Okay. Alright, what an intro. Was not expecting to be that dark right off the bat, but here we are. Straight to the point. So I gotta relive the past that my daughter or son is dead? Oh my god. What the hell? Where am I? Damn it, what's going on? I'm in hell, apparently. Oh, okay. Is this a fetus? What the fuck? It looks like one, yeah. In the diary here, what is that? Satanic stuff? Cool. Very fitting. Hello, demon man. Hi? <laughs> it just, just says hi. That's a, a very cool creature design. I really like it. Very satanic indeed. Oh, it definitely looks like a fetus. You can actually see inside it. I was not... Okay. Well, I was... From the game screenshots, it looked like we were in a bar. This is not a bar. This is a... This is hell itself. So cool, I guess. I've always wanted to come here and see what it was like. Alright, we got the flesh walls getting tighter and tighter here. That does not sound like I wanted to sound. Huh. <laughs> The cave walls are very small. There we go. That sounds a little better. We got a gate here. Locked, though. I guess we need a key for that. Thankfully, hell presents itself with keys. Thank you, hell. I've always wanted one of those. It's kind of dark, isn't it? Yeah? Those guys are creepy looking. Priest. Who are you? And relive your past. What are you talking about? Okay. See ya, Ingela, Ingela Bala, or something. <laughs> Thank you. You can just speak in English. I don't know what language you're speaking right now, and I don't really understand. All right. See ya. Relive my past. Huh? I'm not reliving it yet. I feel like this is pretty bad. How much worse can this get? All right, we got more fetuses here. Can I say hi to all of them? No. Damn. Actually, does it have a cool? I like the teeth. Very, very pointy. They're like tree tree demons. They they create oxygen and kill you. And we got a hospital here. All right. I guess that's where the murder happens. Now this better not be like. Actually, it's a fetus, so it's probably just like uh, the mom killed it as a baby or something. And that's kind of weird. I don't want to. Don't do that. 1991, 27th of November. 1991? Where am I? It looks pretty similar. Doctor jump scare. Hi, sir. Hi. Hi. She's fine. Who? Your wife, sir. She's fine. Uh, yeah, my wife. She's fine. Yeah. You talking about Saya? You must be talking about her. Are you okay, sir? What happened to her? fell from the stairs, right? That's what you told me. Yeah, you fell from the stairs. I remember everything. Not really everything. I recall her falling from the bed or something, but I can't remember much else. It's pretty sad what happened to her. You have my condolences. What? 
What is he talking about? Yes, it's very sad. Tomorrow is her court trial. She's admitted here, and she's pregnant. It must be very heavy for you. Yes, it sounds pretty hectic. A court trial is going to happen, but why? Well, someone has been waiting for you for a long time, saying he's your friend. Where is he? In front of you. There he is. Satan. Lucifer. We got Greg again. Hello, Greg. I'm back. You know what? The court trial was incredibly tough for me. I forgot what voice I gave him. I know it was a very emotional time for you. It was scary. But sitting here and reliving your past with me is a good sign. It was such a dark time when I found out she was expected of harming her own child. Let me tell you a story about a family. Go on. In this family, there were three members. A dad, a mom, and their only child. When their son turned 18, they sent him to California for higher studies while they stayed in India. They used to talk once a month, but there was no communication for 10 long years. One day, their son called them, said he was married with two children, and he was coming back to India. They were the happiest parents at that moment. When their child arrived at the airport, they went to receive him and his family. What happened then? Parents got into a huge car accident with a taxi died. Fuck! The important thing is their child was in the taxi that got into the accident. Ah, uh, what? The story is real. It teaches us that we never know who might hurt us. It could even be our own family, either intentionally or unintentionally. Okay, thank you for the story. Is this my, are you my therapist or something? Must be. I don't think you're doing a very good job right now. If anything, this is worse. I gotta go through hell itself to get past my trauma? I, actually, that's usually how it works, isn't it? And we're back to the... Fuck, you scared the shit out of me. My lord, please understand. You are special. What are you talking about? It has been 6,000 years since this happened. Everyone who has made a decision in their past has faced the consequences. Consequences? What kind of consequences? Consequences. The consequences you are about to face. You have a golden chance to relive your past and change your decision. Okay. Oh, don't show me that gun. 1992, 6th of June. What am I going to do here? Don't do it. What the fuck is going on? I am, I almost remember what happened that day. I got a call from a lawyer and he said something. Then I go down and talk to Saya. That's it? Okay. I guess I got to go do that. What, what about the gun you just showed me? Is that not important? I'm sure it is. Uh, I guess I'll go downstairs and talk to Saya. <laughs> Saya, my beautiful wife. Where are you? Oh, there she is. Oh, wait. Is she still pregnant? This is 1992. I thought, I thought she had the baby in 1991. Or was that a different... I think I'm confused there. Alright, let's go talk to my... Lovely wife. Hi, Saya. Good morning. I just heard what you and the lawyer were talking about regarding the case. Uh, so what did you hear? They found me guilty, right? You know I love you more than anything in this world. No one can surpass my love for you. Memories flood back. You drowned our one-year-old son, and today she was found guilty. After we got married, I was the happiest person in the world. I felt like the luckiest person alive. But after I got pregnant, you started taking care of me, giving me all your precious time. But when the baby was born, you gave all that time to him. Why? Why don't you love me? Are you mentally ill or something? Don't tell me this is the reason you killed our son. 
not only him. I've taken abortion pills for the baby I'm carrying now, too. What the fuck? You're gonna kill this baby, too? Yes. What are you gonna do about it? Kill me? For fuck's sake, what are you talking about, Saya? Why would I... But why have you done this to me? Isn't there another solution? There is. In the garage. Okay, I guess I gotta go see what she's talking about. And it's the gun she just showed me. Pick up gun. All right. Do you really think this is the only solution? There's the devil again. Don't tell me you're gonna make a pact with me. Those are never good. <laughs> I don't. Wow, this game is so dark. Holy. I'm here again. Yes. Right now you are everywhere. Your mind is very powerful. Wait a minute. Who are you? I don't know you. I've got all my memories back. But you're not in any of them. Oh my god. You got all your memories back, right? Yeah, I think so. So, tell me. Where are your parents? Try. Try to recall. Uh, go on. I remember being at the airport. Coming back, and then I got into an accident. Yes, you're right. The story in your mind was incomplete, and I've already told you the other side of it. No, I can't have killed my parents. As I said before, we hurt our own blood, intentionally or unintentionally. Who the fuck are you? How do you know these things about me? I'm that part of your brain that you refuse to accept. The part that remembers what you've done. What? You said I know everything. But that's not true. I only know the things you're afraid to accept. Killing your parents. Saya. What the fuck is going on? What have I done? I have little time, but I need to explain. You made a decision with a gun, and that decision is going to be reverted by you. But I can't tell you which decision led you here. So, I will give you two options. You must choose one. Oh. Shoot her and free her from the guilt of killing her son. Make her pay for what she has done. Or shoot yourself. Free yourself from the burden of marrying a psychopath. Your wife loves you, right? Make her feel guilty for the rest of her life. Carefully choose one. And remember, you've already chosen one of these options before and ended up here. Be careful. Okay, shoot her or shoot yourself. Uh, I feel like shoot yourself is what brought me here, but I don't know. I kind of want to kill her because it's kind of, she killed both of my children. I'm out for revenge right now. Let's make this an action flick. Boom. Goodbye. This time it was change. Thank you. So I, did I choose the correct option even though they're both horrible? Who are you? Why do I see you everywhere? I am you, but the right decision. What do you mean? Some things need no explanation. Kill her and become me. All right, no problem. Oh, why is she floating? Don't shoot the belly, shoot her head. Oh my, don't shoot the belly, man. That's fucking messed up. Oh, they all, oh, I'm him now. They're praying to me. Where am I? You are exactly where you deserve to be. In hell. Okay, well, that was uh, certainly something. Holy moly. That's me. The Lord of Darkness, you got the Become Me ending. Okay. Wow. That was definitely an experience. Okay, well guys, that was Relive the Past, and I must say, this game was so messed up. 
I did not expect any of that. I know this is like reliving your trauma type game, but most of these aren't that bad. But holy moly, that was a lot of uh, very messed up subjects. I feel like neither of the endings are good at all, but for the sake of, uh, I just want to say, if I was in that scenario, I wouldn't do either of those. That's, uh, that's messed up, but I think I chose the better option. Now I am the Lord of Darkness and I own hell, so at least I have got something out of it. Well guys, that was Relive the Past. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy the video, why not leave a like and subscribe to the channel for another horror game coming at you every day. And I will see you in the next one. It's time to wake up now.